hello everyone i'm back with another video hey in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can install the latest version of eclipse ide on windows 11 that is eclipse ide 2022-03 so that's been said let's get started eclipse ide is a integrated development environment for developing java program now to install eclipse ide first of all we have to download the installer file to download the installer file simply open the browser and search for Eclipse IDE. Let me tell you that before installing Eclipse IDE on your system, you have to install Java JDK. You can download the Java JDK file from the Oracle website, or else you can also follow our tutorial on how you can install Java JDK on Windows 11. So I'll put the video link in the description box, or you will get the video link in the i button. Now let us discuss how we can install and set up Eclipse IDE on Windows 11. For that, simply open the link from eclipse.org. Don't worry about downloading. I will also put this link in the description box. So this is the official website from where you can download Eclipse IDE. Now to download, simply click on this download option. And here we have the latest version of Eclipse IDE. That is Eclipse ID 2022-03. To download, simply click on this download option and here click on download and here you can see it is downloading eclipse id installer file let me complete the download process and after that i'll show you how you can install eclipse ide on windows 11 our download has been completed now simply open this installer file so here we have our eclipse installer let me minimize the window so here we have our installer now to download the latest version of eclipse ide for java developer we have to update this installer to update the installer simply click on this menu and here you will find update option simply click on update and here you can see it is checking for updates the update process will take some time wait until the update process complete now here click on select all here click on trust selected Now it will restart your Eclipse installer. After that, select Eclipse ID for Java developer. Here we have our product version which will be selected by default. Here we have our Java VM location and the installation path of Eclipse IDE. And here you can also create start menu entry and desktop shortcut. And after that, simply click on install button. Here you can see it is installing. So the installation process will take some time. So wait until the installation process complete. Our installation has been completed. Here simply click on launch. Here we have to select our workspace location. Simply keep it default then click on launch. So this is the interface of Eclipse IDE. Now let me show you how you can create your first Java project. For that simply click on create a Java project option here or else you can also click on file then click on new and here you can simply select Java project. Here you have to name your project. Say for example, the coder world and it will automatically select your Java version. And if you want to create a module info.java file, then you can check this box. So for now, I'm just going to uncheck this box, then click on next. And this is our project hierarchy. So this is our Java project name and this is the source folder. Inside this source folder, you will find all your Java code. Now here, click on finish. So our Java project has been created that is the coder world and inside this coder world folder you will find Java JRE system library and here we have our source folder. Now to create a Java class file simply right click on this source folder here click on new here simply select class and here you have to enter your class name say for example test. Make sure you write class name in camel case order that means the first letter should be in capital and here you can select your modifier and superclass by default it is selected on public and here we have superclass as java.language.object and here you can select your method let me select public static void main string argument then click on finish this will create a simple java code now let me show you how you can print hello world using java for that here simply write system dot out dot print ln 
and put parenthesis and between this parenthesis put code between this code you can write your statement say for example hello world and after completing every statement you have to write semicolon now to run this program first of all you have to save the file for that simply click on file here click on save all now to run simply click on run option and here click on run and here you can see on the console here we have hello world if you want to learn java programming we already have java playlist for beginners you can watch the playlist i'll put the playlist link in the description box so that's it this is how you can download and install eclipse ide on windows 11 i hope this video was helpful to you if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this bye for now see you next video